in these problems, we are doing some calculations that involve multiplication, division, addition, and exponents. So you can see here we have 4 to the second power, or 4 squared. The little 2 here is called the exponent. And here uh, we have 7 squared, so that's an exponent as well. Our order of operations, uh, we use this handy uh, guide, PEMDAS, to remember to do things in parentheses first, then do exponents, then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So we don't have any parentheses here, but we do have exponents. So we need to do those parts first. So we're not going to do 48 divided by 4. We're going to do the 4 squared part first. And 4 squared is 4 times 4. When you have an exponent, that 2 means how many times you multiply that number by itself. So 4 times 4 is 16. So I can rewrite this problem as 48 plus 48 divided by 16. Now we have addition and we have division. We need to do multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. So 48 divided by 16, if you're not sure, pull out your calculator. That is 3, I'm pretty sure. So this problem is 48 plus 3, and that is 51. Let's try one more. In this one, we have 2 times 7 to the second power divided by 7. So here's our exponent part. 7 squared, or 7 to the second power, is 7 times 7. That's 49. So I can rewrite this problem as 2 times 49 divided by 7. Now I have a multiplication part and a division part. And even though we put the multiplication before the division here, it really doesn't matter what order you do those two in. So I'm going to choose to do this division first. 49 divided by 7 is 7. And then we have 2 times 7. And I think that's an easier problem to do in your head rather than multiplying 2 times 49. So here, 2 times 7 is 14, and that is our answer. So that's a little bit of work with order of operations and exponents.